Welcome to episode 64 of the Friday Fizz. This week we talk about the biggest road rage incident ever, we talk about Microsoft trying to kill off paint, and we talk about robot vacuum cleaners trying to take over the world. Hi guys, hope you're all having a good week. Sorry I couldn't be there uh, for Friday Fizz this week, but I thought I'd just do a really quick video just to say hi. I'm currently in Portugal, so uh, I'll hand it, hand it over to the very capable Chris and Sam. Fergus Beely. Yep. What's a uh, plunker? Yeah, biggest road rage incident I've ever seen. It's a dangerous thing, yes. abuse, and oh assault. My. Goodness. All three. You You're under a citizen's arrest. You're bloody right, I do. Ooh. You said you want us dead. Like that. I do want you dead. You're under a citizen's arrest. Put your hands on the car and get ready to die. Well, I get angry. Like yeah. when people come oh, yeah. up and stuff, of course you, you get angry, you wave a fist or something, but he went crazy. Yeah. Like he, he was about to wrap his hands around the guy's neck. Put your hands on the car and prepare to die, was my favourite quote. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my newest tattoo. So yeah, the man went mad, didn't he? Yeah. For some reason I was listening to Jeremy Vine and they were talking about this and he had this professor on. Yeah. He basically said it's like tunnel vision Yeah. and it, you can't break out of it once you're in it and you're angry yeah. about something. He literally, he loses all self-awareness, everything and he's just focused on this frustration and this anger that he might yeah. almost like protectiveness because he might have killed his wife or whatever yeah. so yeah apparently he's a really mild mannered chap his neighbours love him very, yeah, he's very, very quiet he seemed guy. quite well spoken as well yeah he is posh guy um, and not in any way threatening in the way that he'd speak but no but this is uh, this has reignited the north south divide hasn't yeah, it yeah of course it has in that northerners were saying oh that always happens down south yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what all southerners are like yeah that's, a, that's us that's what we all do. We all go mental over the smallest things yeah. Yeah. that happen on the M6. You've got no self-control. No, nothing at all. So you see me, anytime I try and go anywhere. Yeah, it's dangerous, it dangerous. All the time. Yeah. Uh, apparently fun, he's, uh, he's got a workshop or a, a course coming up that he's running. Really? Mindfulness. <laughs> it's, it's like mindfulness at work or something like yeah. that. So he's preaching to people about keeping calm and getting over things. Might be a difficult song. Controlling now. your mind. So yeah, I imagine most people will have uh, cancelled the bookings for that one. So good luck selling that. Microsoft killed off and then resurrected Paint. Yeah, yeah, we were all worried on one day when we saw the announcement that Paint was going. Designers everywhere were crying that they were going to lose Paint on the computers. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, everyone? Calm? Calm? What's the procedure? Stay calm. But Microsoft have gone back on it already, yeah. haven't they? It was only a simulation. What? I don't know who actually uses Paint for real work. Well, the only time I've ever used paint for anything serious was when it was I was a kid and you draw the lines yeah. and then fill them with different colour paints so you yeah. feel like oh, some modern artist kind of thing. Yeah. But it is one of those, if it doesn't require any resources to run it and keep it going, then... Well, when there's such public outcry, yeah. because it was trending on Twitter, it was in all yeah. the news and it was, it was headlines everywhere that Microsoft yeah. are going to kill off paint. And then, yeah, within like a day or two, they announced, we're not going to kill it, yeah. we'll, we'll leave it on the Windows Store yeah. and it's free to download. So, for most people, it'll still be accessible. Um, and you'll you'll still yeah. be able to badly edit photos on paint. I'd, like, I'd be interested to see how what the download figures are like because I don't I've never I have it on my computer but I've yeah. never used paint so I don't know if we're all just got antsy about it because it's our childhood. I think so. It's more That's nostalgia, it. isn't yeah. it? I don't think it, if it was taken off my computer, even though I might use it to crop the odd photo every now and again, yeah. uh, if it was taken off my computer, you just you find an alternative, don't yeah. you? It's only the fact it's so easy to yeah. use and to find that it's there, but I probably wouldn't download it. So no. Nah. It, but yeah. hey, for Microsoft, it's a good PR stunt. Exactly, they've had I don't a, know if it was a nice week. Or, yeah. or not, but it's a good, it's a good way of getting their uh, their message out there again with something that is probably very little effort to them. Mm. Well, to then, on every press release as well, they've announced. Or they've been like plug-in. Uh, yeah. Where is it? Paint 3D. Yeah. Which is the alter the modern alternative to it. So yeah, it's been like a, you well, could well, use Paint, well. but Paint 3D will be on your computer, so you may as well use it anyway. Yeah. It's better. So. More interesting news is that robot vacuum cleaners are taking over the world. Yeah, this is a weird one because mm. I've, I've, it's the Roomba box, yeah. isn't it? And yeah. I've always looked at them and thought, I really like one of them. But at no point where I ever have thought, this is just drawing a diagram of my house as it goes around. No, you, you think, uh, well, to be fair, it's £900. Yep. So it is an expensive vacuum. You'd hope it would do something more than just vacuum, even though it's a robot. 
But you probably don't hope that it's collecting all the data about your house yeah. and potentially selling it to businesses. And obviously it's not the robot that's selling it and making a profit, <laughs> it's the business that has de developed these robots. But no, basically these ro robot vacuum cleaners obviously clean your house, go around furniture and everything like this, and they're effectively building a blueprint of your house, yeah. designing it. And the company that developed them then have this data, and apparently it's in the terms of service that people have agreed to by buying it, that they are allowed to provide this data to third parties. Is that right in saying they haven't yet sold it on? They're considering mm. who and how they're going to sell it on? Yeah, but it could be within two years. Yeah. And if the terms of use don't change, um, then technically I think the users have opted in. Yeah. And that's that's what the CEO said. It's like, we won't do it unless people have opted in. Yeah. Which is a clever way of saying it. But the fact is, people have already opted You've in whether they're doing it or not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, clearly read your uh, terms of use. I think, yeah, in all fairness, the thing that would hold me back from having a robot Hoover isn't the data, it's more than 900 pound or dollar price yeah. mark on it. That's the issue yeah. for me. I mean, I can get up. Maybe it's because the houses are so big and they can't go yeah. back in. Yeah. But if they're that big, you can afford a cleaner. Yeah. Like, and they probably do a better job than a robot vacuum, so. Until the cleaners all conglomerate together and start selling a few days for the house anyway. And then finally, we've got the announcement that diesel and petrol cars are going to be banned from 2040. Yes, interesting one. I think it, it makes sense though that they'll be long gone before 2040. Yeah. Because if you're a car manufacturer, if you've still got diesel and petrol, it's diesel and petrol only cars and it's a hybrid yes. still, still allowed. Yeah. If you've still got those in stock come 2038, the price of them has to It'll be dropping to the ours. floor, yeah. yeah. So they'll probably be gone by 2030 at the latest. I know already, I mean, I think we're seeing the shift. I think it was 1% yeah. of vehicles last yeah. year are electric vehicles, which is the highest ever, which you'd expect. But the same within about 10 years, so about mid 2020s, um, it could be an equal level where yeah. electric cars are just as viable an option yeah. as petrol and diesel. So within cost, within you know um, the infrastructure that's there, because I think at the moment we're, we don't necessarily have enough charging points, how easy are they to use, where are they, that kind yeah. of stuff. So there are a lot of questions, but I think the government are giving 200 million yeah. uh, to local councils to, to kind of get it to speed. Yeah. Um, so you'd think within five, 10 years, the infrastructure could be there. Yeah. I mean, I probably won't consider it for my next car, Pro probably the one after. Yeah. I'll probably consider an electric car. After well, I was, future. when I, my last car broke down mm. in a blaze of glory, I was considering getting an electric car then, because obviously we've got the charging point downstairs, yeah. so yeah. that would be fine for us. Uh, it's just the initial cost up front is too much for me at the minute. Yeah. I, need, I think the issue at the moment is range. One of the things they're selling it on, and I think this is just skirting around yeah. a disadvantage, is that you should be stopping that often anyway. <laughs> so you should stop at a service station for an hour to charge your car and then carry on again. Very good spin, isn't it? It's It's a nice spin on the yeah. fact it's a, a massive disadvantage. Yeah. Um, I think if you get more miles out of it and it charges, because I think it still takes about half an hour to charge. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you could get that down to, if it's 10, 15 minutes, I wouldn't mm. be asked because I could happily stop for a coffee. Yeah, that's it. It's not stopping for a three course meal. It's stopping no. for a quick coffee. Yeah. Uh, and then get Coffee, back. wee, and then back on the road kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. The question is though, will it be electric cars in 25 years time or whatever it is? Whatever Elon Musk's working yeah, on next, it's because like it, it, there was a talk of hydrogen power cars, wasn't there? Yeah. Work, if they could get hydrogen out of water, yeah, you could power a car effectively by water, uh, which made things a lot easier. Well, but solar power is cool. Yeah, like, I don't know. There's all this kind. Of, I suppose there are still electric cars. It's just how it charges. Yeah, how, yeah. How, how um, actually bring But yeah, where's on. where's the power going to come from? It's yeah, it's a good question actually. Yeah. We should this week's uh, challenge competition, whatever it might be. What do you think? How do you think we'll power the next generation of cars? Will it be electric or will it be mm -hmm. uh, hydrogen or solar or will it just be the same, same typical electric car that you see now? Yeah, what crazy, crazy mm. ideas coming next? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share and let us know in the comments how you think we'll power the next generation of cars.